Look at this, huh? How are you? I'm okay, sir. Yes, I'm on my way to the courthouse. Uh huh. Now I'll be there in 15 minutes. Yes. No, no, no. That's that is not a problem. That is not a problem. I'll I'll, I'll see you there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, yeah, secretary. Sir. Uh, what's up with the document? I'm just uh, reading. Are you sure everything is on point? No, you can trust me on that. Can I have them? Oh, yes, please, 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 please. All right, um, I'll be back at uh, 2 p.m. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. okay. So you take care of the office. No okay. problem. Uh, go. Okay. I'll be good, sir. You too. Oh.
behind you. What? Wait, wait, just calm down, calm down, I'm on my way. Alright? Hold on. God, should I head back to the office? Should I go back home? Wait, I'm supposed to be at the court. <laughs> Somewhere right now, I don't even talk. So many things are just happening. I, I, I listen, I, I, listen, I, listen, listen. Just save that, save that for all later. Okay. So right now, your presence is highly needed in the courtroom. Okay. You're late. You're, 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 you're late already. Listen, Charlie. I have lots of things going on in my mind right now. I, I, I cannot be there. Okay. There is no way I can come to that courtroom right now. Eh? That's it. So what do you expect Chief Ibe to do? Huh? <sighs> listen, Chief Ibe, tell him to ask for an adjournment. I cannot make it to the courtroom right now. Please. Yes. What's going on? You mind telling me? Okay, fine. Charlie, I just got a call right now. My wife is going through a lot of pain. Right? And I need to rush down and take her to the hospital. Yes. So Charlie, I gotta go. Still!
Nurse. Hi. 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 My name is Philip. I'm looking for my wife. What's her name, sir? Her name is Katia. Oh, Miss Yadahosa? Katia Yadahosa, yes. I was told she was brought here a few hours ago. I'm the nurse in charge. I'll explain it to you, okay? All right. She suffered the placenta abruption from the fall she had, which led to a premature separation of the placenta from the uterus. So? She lost a lot of blood and went into shock, so we had to manage that. But before the CS session was conducted, we lost the baby. You what? I'm so sorry. You could have saved the baby if your wife was brought here on time. Please calm down, okay? Put yourself together, okay? Oh, Where is my wife? Your wife? Yes, I can take you to her. She's okay. She's fine. Yes, she's fine. I can take you to her. <gasps> wait now, please, baby, wait, wait. Okay, fine, I'm down. Beg you, listen, do not leave me. I can explain. Just give me one minute to explain, please. I beg Let's you. Let me alone! Philip, you still have the guts to talk to me. Philip, you have the guts to talk to me. Oh, you're a wicked man. Philip, you're a very wicked human being. I'm so sorry, please. Do you know how long it took me to get this child? Oh. I prayed for three good years. And then the baby came. What did you do? You killed my baby. I don't know. Please you don't say that. I did baby. not kill the baby. Please. I beg you. Just give me this chance to explain. Explain what? Explain what? Oh. For how long have I been hearing this? Let me explain. For three good years now. Let me explain. How long do you want to explain? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Philip, I beg you in the name of the God that you serve, do mm. not ever in this your miserable life come close to me again. You have heard me. Please, I beg. Just. Hey. Listen, baby, please, please. what I'll tell you, make sure you rest in this leg all the time so that you know you don't apply too much pressure because if you apply too much pressure, you know the swelling increases. Okay? So I'm gonna call the nurses in a minute to come take care of you. Okay. But for the meantime let me just check your heartbeat real quick, okay? Good day, sir. James. Uh, good day, sir. How are you? I'm okay, sir. Good. Um, I went to your office to look for Philip, and uh, I couldn't find you or him. Uh, I, I went for lunch break, sir. Oh, you did? Yes, sir. Do you have any idea where he is? 
Uh, he came into the office this morning and left for court sitting. Hmm. And uh, he hasn't been back since then? No, I've not seen him, sir. You know, I tried calling him before, but I wasn't able to get him on the line. I don't know. It's okay. You know, um, I will see you some other time, right? Okay, thank you, sir. Take care. Okay, bye-bye, right? sir. Okay, let me rush to the office. Okay. So you've been sitting down here all this while and I've been knocking on your door. Are you alright? Phil. Yeah. What's going on? Can't see left me. Your wife? What do you mean she left you? Did she travel or something? She just packed her things and she left. Just like that? Yes. See, Charles, I was on my way to the courtroom. She called me to say that she had a fall and that she hit her Tony on the floor. So I, I quickly made a U-turn rushed back home, you know, on my way home. Unfortunately for me, I knocked down a girl. Yes, so I, I had no choice than to rush the girl to the hospital. Then, then when I went back home, I could not find my wife. I could not find my kid man. So I called her and she told me she has already left to the hospital. So I went there. Charles, when I got there, The doctor said she, 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 lost, she lost the baby. Yes. And you see, to crown it off now, she, she, she's accusing me that I am the cause of, for the loss of our baby. Eh? Charles, it wasn't my fault now. It wasn't my fault. Um, Phil, just calm down, okay? Calm down. Are you certain where she might be right now? I don't know. I don't know. The only place I can think of right now is her parents' uh, house. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I, think, um, I think we should just go over there and explain things to her. Oh, Charles, she wouldn't even allow me to explain. That's it. It's all right. I think the best thing we could do right now is just stay to go over there and explain things to her. Alright? Just put your safe together, man. Alright? I'm really sorry about your loss. It's okay? Right.
is this now? What it be this now? Listen, baby, I, I am sorry, all right? Philip, what are you looking for? Listen, listen, I, I can explain. what now? Let me just explain. Can you take this guy out of my house? Wait. I go. Go. I, I don't want to talk to anybody. Just go. Listen, I, 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 Charles, I told you. I told you she wouldn't agree. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Just give me a chance to explain, please. To go home. Not here, my dear. Um, is there anyone in your family that we could, you know, contact so he or she can help us? Do you know of anyone? You need to really stop crying, Maria. You've been crying all day. You know, I'm sure the man that brought you here would, you know, show up any moment soon. I pray, Doctor. I really need to go home. I need to get home but now. But you know you're not strong enough to walk now. You can't just walk around right now. And besides, Dr. Ben said we should not discharge you without his approval. Then please get Dr. Ben. Let me beg him. Just calm down, okay? You need to calm down and stop crying. Everything will be fine. Okay? Girl, I knocked out of my car. I should have left her there. But that would be so wicked and heartless of you. Yes, but at least I will save the life of my baby. Look at now. Look at look at what's going on. Eh? Charles, this will not happening now. Eh? I, I need back in for this. Oh no now. No. Just look at this. Come on. What happened to you, man? Put yourself together. Stop all this. Oh, but Charles.
sort of rubbish do you just put up out there? Huh? What is wrong with you? You wanna kill yourself? Where's your faith, man? Should have allowed me to kill myself. Just what am I living for? What am I living for? You should have allowed me to kill myself. No way. You know, there's no way I will let you put that to yourself. And you know it! You don't understand. just created our five years marriage. Her and her mother are blaming me for the loss of our baby. As if that was not enough, I knocked down a girl I don't even know if she's dead or alive. Now tell me, have I not inflicted so much pain on people just today? Tell me! But you can't just let the devil take over your reasoning just like that. Then you will not solve this problem. So let's just put our heads together and find the solution. Do you want me to get you some water or something? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Are you Fair. sure? No. Yeah. I need you to calm down, man. Just calm down. Okay, right now, I want you to take me to that hospital and go and get that girl. So we can, we can see if she's still alive. No. I'm not taking you to that hospital. You don't even have to do it. No. Listen, Charles, what if that girl is dead? It's better for us to go there and see for ourselves. But you just abandon her like that. That's not fair. Come on. Baby, stop crying. Come on, stop. Stop crying. You're hurting yourself. Stop. Please. Daddy, how can I stop crying? How? Oh, daddy, how? Oh. oh, come on, baby. God is in control. God is in control. Stop. Oh. By the way, I brought you your favorite meal. Daddy, I can't eat. I can't eat. Oh, baby. If I knew I would have wanted that bedroom more, I would have no, baby, come on, don't worry about that. I thank God for bringing you my way. God has kept you and brought you to me. You know, I'm a lucky man, you know. <laughs> I am very lucky to have you as my husband. <laughs> I love you too. Yeah, so tell me, where would you like us to spend our honeymoon? You want to go to Paris, you want to go to Nigeria, mm -hmm. Australia. Nigeria, please. Nigeria? Mm-hmm. I want to go back home. I'm tired of this country. I need to go home. I need to eat burgers. I need to tell you. We're going to get cool, cool, fine. Where exactly? What are you, of course? Where else? Worry? Mm hmm Hey! Just like the movie, worry blood. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious. So you want to give it to my wife? You're my woman, come rain, come shine. You're my everything, come rain, come shine. You're my woman, come rain, come shine. You're my everything. Since we've been married, not even a child. Are you not worried? Are you not bothered? I mean, I, no, uh, wait, wait. is that why you're crying? Uh, eh? Philip, why won't I cry? I'm a woman, for goodness' sake. I feel so useless. I feel worthless. I feel. Enough, I feel enough. Enough. Oh. enough. Now, am I continuing? 
Do you need to complain? Do you? Baby, calm down. <laughs> what matters the most right uh, now is that I love you so much. Uh, you mean everything to me. You're my love, you're my life, you're my hope, my joy, my happiness. It is God that gives children and with time he will give us. Please, wipe your tears, alright? <laughs> This is not necessary. I need to go back to my wife. I can't be here. Of course, we'll go to your wife. But first, let's go in there and save this girl's life. Huh? I mean, she's human, just like your wife. She sprained her ankle, but she will be able to walk normally in a few weeks from now. Thank God. Now I have a Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, so, Doctor, can, can we see her now? Yeah, we can see her. She actually insisted on leaving, but I had to make her stay because the bills have to be paid. Saving life is my job. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, we can. <laughs>
Um, this is the um, man. I'll take you from here. I, my, my name is Philip. I, I, was, I was the man that knocked you down with my car. I, how could you? How could you? I'm sorry. 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 How could you? How could you abandon me yet to die? Um, um, we are truly totally sorry about this, okay? Um, he's been through a lot lately, alright? And he didn't really leave you here intentionally. Do you have any idea where I was going to when you knocked me down with your car? Uh, I'm sorry. Mm. She has stomach upset and she's throwing up. Please, I need medication for her. Did you give him because before anything? No. Okay, I have a good medicine for you. Okay. Seven ninety-nine. Please, sir, I don't have money now. Bring the money tomorrow. Money. I cannot give you free. Please, sir, my mom no, no, needs no, no, this no, medication. No. Please. Sir. Bring money and then you can take Please, this sir. up. No, 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 I cannot give you. No, please, sir, my mom. No, needs just me. get up. Please, get sir. up from my store. Please. No. Please, sir. Please. Please. No. Just get up. Please, sir. Please. Get up from my store. Please, my mom needs this medication. No, I call the police. Get up. Please, sir. Get up from this place. Please, sir. No. I cannot give you. This is my only source of life. You I'm always sorry, come ma. late. I don't want to hear nothing. By the time I close my eyes, I want you to, I want you to out of here. Please, ma, forgive me. Out of here please, when I, ma. if I close my eyes, if not, I'll call the police for you. Forgive me, ma, please, ma. Please, ma. Please, ma, don't call the cops. Please, ma. Please don't call 911. I'm so sorry, ma. Please, ma. Please forgive me, ma. It won't happen again. Hello? Please, ma. I'm so sorry, ma.
Oh, I'm sorry. Alright? I'm very sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Don't tell this leg hurt. You'll be fine, you'll be fine, you okay? You'll be fine, okay? Okay, doctor. You'll be fine. my career over. So I know what you're sitting down here right now. Looking at me as someone who has choked with your daughter's life. But sir, I swear with my life, I was going back home. Of course I do not blame her. Yes. I want to let you know I cannot let you go No matter how hard it goes How I love go, bro oh, I want to let you know
not till this leg hurts. They took her away in Eminem, she's dead. What did you say? She's dead. You said what? Your mom is dead. You mean my mom is dead? Take it what did you just say? I didn't kill her. You know, child, sometimes I ask myself what I've done wrong. I mean, why, why is all this thing happening to me? Huh? What have I done for all these things to be happening? Imagine I caused the death of my unborn baby. And now the death of someone else's mother. I mean, Lord, what have I done? What have I done? Thanks, man. Phil, I know how you feel. But I assure you, that God is doing something great in your life. He would remedy this situation for you. God, am I seeing so much that you would just 
sit down there and allow this tribulation to happen to me? Charles, see the way I just framed that, that poor innocent girl motherless, just like that. But it wasn't your fault. And whose fault? I mean, I'm glad that you're saying it, but whose fault? My mother-in-law thinks I am the fault. My wife thinks I'm the cause. Hmm? What else? Okay, fine, look at Chief Ebe. How am I going to face him, knowing that I have disappointed him? You see what I'm saying? Listen, Fio. God is in control. Okay? God will fix this. Just have faith. Trust me. Come on. Drink all right. Drink all right. How have you been? I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Seems like you came to pick up a few things. Yeah, I came to get some groceries. Yeah? Okay. How is everything? Oh, everything is fine. Okay. You know? yeah, I I'll talk to you later. Um, Katie, please wait. Um, I want to talk to you. I hope it's not about Charles. I hope it's not about Philip. Because I am so not ready to listen. Please. But why? I'm listening to you right now because we're friends, okay? Anything outside that, I'm so sorry, I don't want to talk about you. All right, so is there any way we can go to a place like here? Uh, no, no, you can talk to me, I'm listening. Let's talk here. Okay. Uh, I want to talk to you on behalf of him. I want to ask you to forgive him. It wasn't his making. Can you just, can you stop? Please, can you stop? Anything about Philip, I don't want to hear, please. Who is your husband? That was then. He was my husband. Okay, if you want to know. I loved Philip, okay? You were there. You know about everything. One year down the line, Philip began to show his true self. I mean, I... I... Yeah, honey, I think I'm good to go. <sighs> honey, I just said I'm set to go and you're not saying anything. What's wrong? Why are you frowning? What's the problem? What do you mean what's today's date? Today is Thursday, 27th. Yep. So what is today? <sighs> what happens today? What happens today? Today is just like every normal day, isn't it? Philip, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. What's the problem? No, today is my birthday. Oh! My God, my bad. Oh, happy birthday, honey. Oh, why would I just forget something so important like this? Baby, I'm, I'm, I'm truly sorry, please. I'm, I'm down on my knees, I'm sorry. Oh, honey, don't be like that, are you good? Please, I'm sorry. Eh? But I promise you, I, I will make it up to you. But right now, I have to go. I have a court sitting by 9 a.m. and I'm already running late, all right? Mm -hmm. But I promise you, I'm going to come back on time today just for you. I'm going to take you on the date. Alright? <laughs> so how am I looking? Oh, baby, come on. Oh, <laughs> That's my baby. So I'll just get my shoes and then I'll and I'm off. Oh, I love you.
Hi, baby. How are you? Where exactly are you? Alright, um, you know what's going to happen? I, I will call Paul right away to come um, get the car, okay? Get the car fixed. But you just hang in there, okay? I'll call him right away. Alright, baby. Saved Paul's number. Paul, 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 Paul. Hey. Three, four. Hello? Can't get this number. Baby, you just have to wait to. Yeah, hello? Uh, yes, yes, everything is ready. No, no, no problem, no problem. Y yes. Just, just, just call me right away. I'll, I'll get everything fixed right away. Okay, okay, yes, I'm on my way. I'm leaving the office. I will be there in two minutes, just two minutes. Wait for me there. All right, all right, thank you. abandoned me on the day of my birthday. Who does that? Who? Not even flowers. Not the way he, he, he sings for me. Not the way he reads poems for me. Oh, no. I, I, I'm sorry I can't do that. Uh, Katie, I, I understand where you're coming from. I don't understand. You're not wearing my shoes, so you won't understand. I'm really sorry about that. I'm sorry I have to disappoint you with this. I'll talk to you later. Please, I am sorry. I said you should forgive me. Sorry for what? Forgive you for what? Get out of here after making my life miserable. Get out of here right now. Please go. Leave. It wasn't my fault. Just forgive me. I beg you. Oh, it's my fault. After making my life miserable. Please get out of here right now before I call the cops, okay? Right. Get out. Get out. Please leave. You beasts! <sighs> Guy, seriously, no try at all. How could you be so uncaring? Huh? She told me everything. She told you everything? Yeah. What did she tell you? Well, she told me how you've been so, so uncaring about your uncaring attitude, uh, forgetting her birthday so many times, leaving her on the street stranded. Come on, bro. That is so unfair. Charles, yeah, I know, but I apologize to her. And she told me she has forgiven me. Charles, I am sorry. Well, you apologized to her. Correct, fine. But you kept repeating the same thing over and over again. Oh, doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, no wonder it's hard for her to forgive me. But see, Charles, I am truly, really sorry. Well, let's hope on God to fix this situation because we can only beg her for forgiveness. But I hope you've learned your lesson. Ah, uh, sure. I have. You see, I just wish I could just turn back the hands of time now. Oh, come on, man. Come on, snap out of it. But tell you what, how about we go out tonight and um, get some drinks, you know? Hit the bar. Come on. It wouldn't hurt, you know? Come on, be a good sport. Hello? James. What is it? 
So, uh, Chief Ibe was here. Yeah. Hey, enough of this Chief Ibe, Chief Ibe, that. What is the problem? Anything about Chief Ibe, just keep it aside. And listen, I do not want to see anybody. I don't want to have any meetings. Just postpone everything. All right? Okay, sir. Okay, they filed for the uh, listeners. Now again. Keep the files. Huh? This one, that one, any other one, just keep them. Ships go, 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 go to your office. at you that your only daughter will be trying to end her marriage and you act like you don't even care like I told you she's old enough to know what she wants and she's old enough to take the decision she's taking so whatever she wants to do let her do it I'm not trying to condone what Philip did yes that was bad but one has to realize that marriage is not a bed of roses there are ups and downs, and one has to be careful to make the right decisions so as to toe the right line. Understood? Like I told you, I am not going to talk about this matter any longer. Philip needs to grow up, he needs to learn to take care of my daughter, and he needs to take care of, learn how to take care of a woman. Here who's talking? Esther, this week you're in London, next week you're in Dubai, all in business, doing business. Listen, I'm through with this. What is your business? You mean you're a cleaner? So? Is it any business of yours? Listen, I know you are angry, but what happened wasn't my intention. Oh, it was my intention, Abby. Eh? Please, leave me alone. Okay? Leave me alone, this man or whatever you call yourself, okay? Just leave me the hell alone. I have begged you. I told you I was sorry. I, I, I know what happened to your mom, but... I said I'm sorry. I said you. Sorry for what? After putting me through so much pain in this condition, made me lose my mother. You're telling me you're sorry. Sorry for what? All right, fine. It's, fine. Um, it's all right. Let's not create a scene here now, okay? I'm going to give you some money. You know, I need you to um, hold on to it. Fix yourself. You know, leave this job. When, when you're fully okay, you can go and do whatever you want to do. Did all I right? ask you for any money? Did I ask you for any money? Or you think I'm a charity case? Please keep your money to yourself, okay? Please, calm down for what? Leave me the hell alone. Am I a serious? Do I look like a beggar to you? Please get out of here. Get the hell out of here right now. Please go. So, I've wronged your daughter in so many ways. So I chose my career over. So I know what you're sitting down here right now. Looking at me as someone who has choked with your daughter's life. But sir, I swear with my life, I was going back home to take her to the hospital when they when knocked down the girl I told you about. Yeah. So I should speak right now, that girl. She lost her mom after the incident. She did? Yes. And did you explain this to her? I 
Yes, I tried to, but she would not allow me to talk. Of course, I do not leave her. Yes. It's all my fault. I have this habit of not being there for her. So I am so sorry. I'm sorry. She told me all that. And you know that was unfair of you. I am disappointed, I must say. Yes, I know. I know, but right now, I have realized my mistake. So I am ready to take a new leave. If only she would just come back to me. So I beg of you, please. Help me talk to her. I am ready to take a new leave. If only she will come back to me. All right. I'll talk to her. I'm not happy either that she's back home after five years of marriage. Okay. And I hope she rethinks. Um, it's okay. Get up. Thank you. Get up. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. They're coming. Go ahead. No. All right. It's all right. Thank you, Mr. Charles, for your love and your brotherly care and everything. But right now, I do not need them. I mean, the last time I checked, it's my business and not yours. Leave me alone. Philip! 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 Ah, uh, so. Is your girl back? Uh, no, it's not yet back, sir. Ah, for the past three days? Yes, sir. But you told me it was going to be back, like, uh, today? Yeah, I've been trying to reach him, but it's not picking his call. Guess it might be back, maybe tomorrow. <sighs> tomorrow? Then if I come tomorrow, it's not around, then you ask me to come the other day. <sighs> so you don't have any idea when he's going to come back today? No, yes, sir. <sighs> so... So don't worry, don't worry. Uh, well, just try tomorrow. I, 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 I he'll be back. He'll be here tomorrow. But you know, I, I need to get this paper done. I need my green card on time. You know. Like I told you, don't just try and check it tomorrow. He'll be here. Yeah. If I come tomorrow, I don't meet him. I'll be forced to use some other barrister. But yes, sir, it's not uh, as if uh, he has not been coming. Uh, you know, just. Nah, this this making it the fourth time I've been here. Ah, tingle feet. Ah. No worry, no worry. Just uh, check tomorrow. Okay. Just give me a call when it comes. Okay, so I'll do that. All right. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. What could make this man abandon his chambers? His career. Imagine I call Severly. I mean, you couldn't even pick up. I have to do 
something. This is getting out of here. Good day, sir. James. Sir? Is everything all right? Hey, not at all, sir. I, I came to see you. You came to see me? Yes, sir. On a Sunday morning. James, don't you go to church? Yes, I see. I, I, I've worked with you for more than seven years. Hmm. And I've not seen you this way. I, I guess there's something you need to tell me. Talk to me. I'm your boy. You've left the chamber for two weeks now. James, I'm very fine. Oh, what about the chambers? Listen, James, as it stands now, the chambers can go to places for all I care. Sir, no, this is no use. Listen, Talk. I just want to be alone. Talk to me. I'm your boy. Open up to me. Let me know what is going on. Talk to me. Open up to me, sir. Am I might am I be of help one way or the other. James, you said he's your boss. Yes, Pastor. So, have you been able to ascertain what the problem is? Uh, you refused telling me, Pastor, but from what I heard, it had to do with the marriage. Uh, the wife lost the pregnancy, which took her many years to conceive. Now she left the house. Pastor, my, my boss needs some help. He looked so frustrated and devastated yesterday that I went to the house. Pastor is losing it. Uh, please help him. Hmm, I see. Okay, when next you're going to his house, I'll need to go with you so I speak with him. I know that um, God is capable of solving whatever problem there is. Amen, Pastor. Uh, when do you prefer, sir? Um, tomorrow by two will be fine. Uh, okay, Pastor. Uh, let me be on my way. Okay, let's pray. Let us pray. Is uh, Philip at the office right now? No, 
You mean he hasn't been? Oh, Florian. You are taking this too far. Oh, he opened up to you? He's been through a lot, and I think he really needs a pastor. But um, uh, just go up to the house, okay? I will meet you guys over there. All right? All right. See you then. So this is my boss, uh, Philip. Brother Philip, stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> Pastor, you will not understand. Pastor, you don't understand. That's why you're telling me. Stop crying. Pastor, look at me. My wife has deserted me. Because I have caused her so much pain. Even a mother. A mother is asking her now to leave me. What about the girl that I knocked out of my car? Everyone has seen me as a beast and a monster. Now tell me. Don't I deserve to die? Oh, premature death is not your portion. Pastor, you still don't understand. Pastor, everyone that I love pardoned me. about you. Yes. It was all about me. I chose my career over her. Yes. So that's I was a beast. But I feel it. I've come to tell you about a man that has the key to every solution of our lives. And he's no other man than the man Jesus. Pastor, forget about Jesus. Forget about him. This is not the Jesus thing. So this is something that I caused by myself. Look, look, look. You know, he told us to cast all our burdens upon him. And he will be able to show that it. He has the solution to every problem of life. Why don't you give this man a chance? Let him into your life. And see him solve all these problems of life of yours. Let him into your life, Brother Philip, okay? And see how these things will ease out its itself. All right? Try to think it through, okay? You just can't end your marriage like that. Think. Okay? All right. Come on. I thought we've talked about this before. I know that the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling sick. I can't go out. What do we have here? Hello. Hi, Philip. Good day, sir. I'm Hi. And I'm Edward. Hi. Okay, Pastor Moses, you're welcome. How can we help you? My name is Maria. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Katie. Yeah. Your husband here knocked me down with his car on his way home to get you to the hospital. In that process, I lost my sick mom, whom I was supposed to go home to take care of. I urge you to forgive him, because I've done the same, please. I'll help you, I'll just help you for the shot. So you forgive him. Yeah. So, yes, what do you dear, want me to do? We expect you to do the same. Daddy, please, can we go? Oh, baby, come on now. To make your mistake is human, to forgive is divine. They're already begging you, come on. You can't end your marriage just like that, please. 
Come on now, your husband is ready to turn into a new leaf. I beg you in the name of God, please forgive me. I, I'm sorry. My dear, you see, just like your dad said, to err is human, but to forgive is divine. You need to forgive him and give him a second chance, okay? Please. Don't worry, don't worry. Baby, she's already pleading. You're my woman. 